Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what's up? King Petty here. <laughs> so today's video, I'm just gonna be doing my makeup and doing a review of my 2017 because let's be honest, 2017 was the biggest mess. If not for you, then definitely for me. <laughs> I went through so much crap and kind of rebuilt myself. Um, but yeah, hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and an awesome New Year's Eve with your family and friends. I got to spend Christmas with my second family and had some up and downs with my own family. But I got to spend New Year's here in Denton with some really great friends. And I don't remember half the night, but who does, you know? <laughs> but I got home safe. That's all that matters. But yeah. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you did and if you have any comments or dislikes you know go ahead and uh, drop it down below um, I have a visitor one second it's still recording oh my god <laughs> But yeah, guys, don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button. That will definitely help me out. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Girls and boys make some noise till they kick us out. We're the kings and queens today. We're the kings and queens today. So I've already pretty much primed my face, so we're just gonna get going. So yeah, like I said, it's just gonna be a recap of like everything I did in 2017. So try to keep up. Um, in January, I had my older brother over at my old apartment for his birthday. His birthday's on the 14th. We were trying to get my little brother to come too, but he was being a little bitch. Um, <clears throat> because I had sent my brother money for gas and stuff, and like him, my cousin, my sister-in-law, and my little brother was supposed to come, but... My little brother got mad because I only sent my older brother money. I was like, why am I going to send both of y'all money to <clears throat> come to the same place? I was like, that made no sense, you know? Um, so my little brother didn't come, and my older brother did, and let's just say it got litty titty. I'll post a picture somewhere over here of how he ended the night. <laughs> um, I also <clears throat> adopted a dog. His name is Shady. Like, what a coincidence, right? You good, dude? You good? Yeah. I don't know what he's doing right now. But yeah, if y'all know me, um, y'all know I love pugs. And I actually had a chihuahua when I was younger. Um, for like eight years. But she passed away when I was a junior, senior in high school. Um, she like had a stroke and... Yeah, it, I mean, it was her time, like, she was super old. So, my intentions were to get either a pug or two, a small dog, not something huge. And, dead ass, the first dog I see is Shady, and he's, like, in the front. And, like, me, my friend Leah, and Jocelyn came with me. But, like, I walked up, and he, like, put his paw in the glass, and I was like, oh, I'm so, I was like, I'm sorry, dude, I can't, I'm looking for a small dog. And literally the entire shelter only had big dogs and so my friends were like well if you want we can go to another shelter and we can check and I was like yeah okay sure as we're driving to the other shelter um, I don't know, just something in my head was like you need to go back like you need to go get him and as I was driving I was like guys we have to go back and they're like oh my god yes let's go back <laughs> so uh, the shelter like has to where you can uh, like you can play with the dogs for a little bit like in their yard before Like you adopt them. So that's what I did and I was like playing with him Even though like he's super fat like he doesn't do anything um, And my little brother was like well if you want you can just take my dog and he was like some like Mutt I don't even know what it is and I was just like no I think I'm gonna take this one and yeah, so I I adopted Shady. Um, and then like 
the rest of the month I started dealing with some BS drama that I had to deal with my friend and some puta which I've been wanting to make a video but my friends are like don't do it but you know King Petty still won't do it let's see in February I went to Colorado for the first time that was fun and yeah you know went with my friends like it was just a spontaneous trip one of my um, one of my New Year's resolutions was to be more adventurous well my New Year's resolutions for 2017 was to be more adventurous so, so yeah I decided to buy a plane ticket to go to Colorado and yeah I'll be posting pictures of everything that I did like somewhere in the video um, but yeah Colorado was fun while also dealing with that mess um, let's see what else did I do in Colorado or not in Colorado in February oh February Valentine's Day but you know single F so I celebrated Galentine's Day with my roomies with the girls you know and yeah that was the end of February <coughs> just trying to get over being sick let's see March the only thing exciting in March was spring break honestly the friends that like I went with they hadn't been to Padre before and I was like well let's save money let's stay at my house and so you know if anybody wants to go party in Padre just hit me up well, I don't know maybe not because like my mom's not talking to me so she's probably gonna be like nah get a hotel bitch <laughs> Uh, let's see and then towards the end of March early April I Decided to spend a whole week in Austin Yeah And for those that know me y'all will know y'all already know exactly why I went to Austin um, But yeah, I told my professors that I Got into an accident and I had to be put on bed rest and I had like a copy of like an old doctor's note from the hospital so I just used that and they were like oh my gosh well hope you hope you feel better like take care of yourself that's literally what a response I got from my instructor and I was like thanks <laughs> um, but yeah throughout that whole week I left my poor babies yes yeah, my poor babies <laughs> Yeah, I left Shady um, with my friends and I got like super depressed and because the whole reason why I went <laughs> was because I was trying to get with this guy, this straight guy, my I add, who like told me to go over and I had told him, I was like, well, I mean, I can stay for a whole week if you want. He's like, yeah, go for it. So, you know, my intentions were to get down with this a beautiful piece of man but that whole week was just a mess like <laughs> he got into a fight with his friends like the first night I was there he broke his door down put multiple holes in his apartment um, and then I was just like stuck in like his other room all week and so yeah I got like super depressed and every time I like FaceTime my friends to check up on Shady I started crying and they were just like just come home and I was like no not yet and it got to the point where like the guy even was like do you want me to take you home because I can and I was just like no I don't want to go home but that was just like the Taurus in me being super fucking stubborn and wanting to stay there with him so like right after like I fell into like this super deep depression like ugh. It was like high school me all over again. And if y'all knew me in high school, y'all knew I was a fucking mess. But yeah, I just like fell into a deep depression and like April is my birthday month. Like the whole month of April is my birthday. <clears throat> and I just like, it got to a point where like, I didn't even want to do anything for my birthday. And, but luckily my squad, they, they're like nah bitch you thought and they went ahead and like threw a little something for me <laughs> for me and um 
my friend Rachel because her birthday is the day before mine. I mean, it's always good to have friends to like back you up because like within these like f within those four months, like so many people stop talking to me. Like it's ridiculous as to how many people um, or how many friends I had that like suddenly stopped talking to me. Just goes to show they ain't your real friends. Um, and yeah, I celebrated my birthday. Got super wasted, like always. Nothing new. Um, got accepted into UNT. That was like my like side project that I was doing that I wasn't telling people. I was like, let me just, you know, plot twist on these hoes. But yeah, got accepted. And then in May, um, one of my old roommates, she had an extra ticket to go see The weekend because she bought it for her ex-boyfriend, but her ex-boyfriend done, like, was texting this other girl and, like, cheating on her. So she was like, hey, you want to go? And I was like, girl, yeah, I ain't never seen The weekend. Um, so that was, like, my first concert that wasn't a Somo concert because, you know, I've seen that man <clears throat> too many times. And I met him, like, three three times I've seen him five no I've seen him five and met him four times like he is my one true love oh started working at my current job quit well didn't really I quit Radio Shack and then I like went back but then they were like closing all the stores so I had to get a new job got evicted from my old apartment it was my fault. Yeah, they found out I had Shady, which I w we weren't even allowed to have pets. And I was like, guys, it's fine. I was like, I was like, I'll make sure she doesn't find out. And we were good. Like, I mean, five months of not knowing that we had a dog. Like, and homeboy doesn't bark. Like, he's literally sitting like right here, not doing anything. Um, but yeah, we got evicted, so I had to like take him back home and, and like find a new apartment because it was just a big ass mess like literally after my birthday it was just like everything went downhill <clears throat> and I literally was like everything that could go bad went bad <laughs> and it was just like more depressing as like the months went by but you know I got through you know um let's see June I started like actually working on my youtube channel um did a collab with my friend tino and if y'all haven't seen that video i'll go ahead and post it here one of these corners i i forget but yeah she helped me like reconnect because she started blogging and she really wanted to try this restaurant called komodo loco and I was like, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity to start my channel. And I was like, we can do a collab and like, I'll like video the adventure and you can blog about it. And she's like, perf, let's do it. But come to find out the dang restaurant doesn't open till like four or five in the afternoon. Um, so we had to like go and we were super hungry. Like we waited to eat um, just so we could try it. And, but we were already super hungry, so we went to go eat at this place called Rusty Tacos. And then, like, we ate a little bit, and then we went to go try the restaurant, like, once it opened. But, yeah, that was fun. And I miss you, Tino. She, like, graduated and moved to Houston and is living her big girl life. I mentioned her in, like, a few videos ago, you know. But, yeah. After that, um, oh, also found Denton's famous purple door, and if you're from Denton, like, you know Denton's, like, a big mystery, and they have this thing called the purple door, and it's deadass, like, a purple door, like, you, you're not supposed to tell people, like, where it is, and you're just supposed to go find it yourself, and you know what, that's exactly what we did, and, like, I'll post a picture on here. Sorry, I'm trying to hide my double chin. And it's still there. <laughs> and then, like, the last thing, I guess, for June, I moved into my own apartment. 
If y'all want to see a tour, let me know. I mean, it's not that big, so there's not much to tour. It's just like, just like one thing. But you know, um, I think that's it for June. Um, July, I went home to go visit like my family before school started and to visit my babies because he was staying with my mom uh, the whole time that I was still here in Denton because you know, I'm still going to school and I couldn't just like have him here. And in July, I celebrate, well obviously everybody celebrated 4th of July and I got to do a video with my mom. Um, I'll leave that, like I said, somewhere here if y'all wanna see it. She basically roasted me in part of the video, so that's cool. August, started school at UNT, and I got promoted. Um, that was also one of my 2017 resolutions, was to get promoted. And I did, I'm still trying to get promoted, working my butt off, but you know, my attitude is what's keeping me from getting promoted. So I've been told. But it's just, you know how you just have customers that like test you? They're like, am I really about to cut you? Are you really about to cut me? Kind of deal. But yeah, nonetheless, I got promoted. And I'm still trying to get promoted. So you know, if y'all want to tell my managers that I'm a fantastic person and that I deserve to get promoted. <laughs> Just see that save? Um, yeah, you know, let them know. Does my nose look snatched? Also, I'm super hungover, so like, there ain't, there ain't no way to hide these bags. I'm about to I'm more concealer. Uh, let's see, September, I reconnected with an old friend that I came to college with. Um, my like me and her like never talked in high school. We had one class. Um, it was social studies with Mr. Duncan, and like she sat in the front and I sat in like the way back. And she was like acting all bougie, and I was just like, this girl thinks she hot shit. But then like um, our college advisor like we were both applying to TWU. And she was like, oh my gosh, y'all should like totally start hanging out if y'all are gonna like go to the same school. And I was like, I don't know this girl. She don't know me. Like, she was on the dance team and I was like in band and cheerleading. And I was like, this girl don't wanna hang out with me. But we ended up like hanging out and then we became like really good friends here at TWU. But then she decided to leave and like go back home and like we kind of just lost like contact but I mean like she was doing her thing I was doing mine here so but yeah her cousin got married in September and she invited me and I was like you know what I'm gonna go so I um I told my coworker I was like hey come with me to this wedding because if y'all also know me y'all know I don't like to drive in Dallas like honestly traffic gives me anxiety and especially in Dallas and Austin I will start to panic and thank God I haven't gotten into an accident yet like oh girl but yeah um, so we went and I got to see like all her family because everybody's family loves me oh and then the other thing in September I got my YouTube intro for my channel, so if y'all haven't seen it, like, I, will, I still trying to figure out which corner, but I will post it in one of these corners. There's gonna be like three videos y'all need to watch. And, you know, just go ahead and give it like a thumbs up while y'all are like already here, you know? And then October, Halloween month, um, I was like, you know, that's when I like started watching like Manny, Laura, and like James. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be Manny for Halloween. And I sure was Manny for Halloween. Had the whole jean jacket, the, if you, if you don't like me, don't fucking watch it. Um, yeah, I was, I was serving looks that, that weekend. Um, and I got noticed by him on Twitter. 
because I posted it and everybody was like freaking out. They're like, oh my gosh, like, why would y'all look so cute together? And I was like, come on, Manny, I need a man. You need a man too. Let's be each other's man, you know? Went super quiet as soon as I do my eyebrows, you know, you gotta, you gotta concentrate on these babies. Uh, let's see. What else did I do in October? Oh, my bigs got married. Finally, like, took Tom long enough. Um, so yeah, I got to go to their wedding. Didn't get to be a part of it, though, but you know, what else? And, yeah, I mean, it was super fun. Like, hadn't seen people in, like, two years. Two or three years. And, yeah, you know, I updated them on my life. Told them I was graduating in May. And they were like, you know what? You've come, you've come a long way, my dude. And I was like, thanks. I tried. They're like, you definitely deserve this. Wish my mom would say the same thing, but you know, we ain't gonna talk about it. Uh, and let's see, what else? I went to my first like Halloween block party, which was like in the neighborhood in Dallas. And it was fun. I mean, I went with like my classmates who I started hanging out with this semester, but like, I wanted to be out on the strip, and we were, um, we were at one of the clubs there, and, you know, I was, I recreated a look that James Charles recreated, but I was wearing, like, white contacts, and those hoes dried up the entire night, because it was freezing, and I had, like, a black shirt on, and I cut, like, a skull in the back, and it was just, yeah. I was trying to serve looks and no honey this hoe got cold in November I went to tailgate as an official UNT student and well that was a very huge hot mess apparently I got accused of like punching this girl in the face and I didn't <laughs> she she wishes I did, cause shit. All I did, long story short, I like tipped her hat because I was like already drunk and I was just like, I don't like her. And I don't like her wearing this stupid hat. So I tipped it and then me and her started like arguing. But then as soon as we started arguing, like you know how like you get so mad and you black out? Like we just started arguing and I blacked out and she was like, hit me, hit me. And I was like, I'm not gonna hit you. like. I'm not gonna catch a case for hitting a girl in the face. So yeah, and like she was pushing me. She was like, hit me. And I was like, you got me all types of fucked up. And then like my friend Abram pushed me away and I like yelled at him and lost my friends. I hate being sick because my face gets so crusty, even though you can't tell, but. Um, so yeah, that was basically it for November. And then besides like Friendsgiving, um, my dad came for Thanksgiving too. It was the first time I saw him in like six months because he moved about an hour north from me. Um, he got like a new job and got his own apartment. Proud of him. My big baby's growing up so fast. Um, but yeah, like he was like, I have like so many days off for work. Like if you want, I can hang out with you. And I was like, I mean, I ain't doing shit, so why not? And, yeah, that's it for November. And now for December, um, my cousin came over because she had vacation time. And she was like, she she's into, like, paranormal stuff. And she watches um, BuzzFeed Unsolved. And they did a story on Goatman's Bridge, which is, like, here in Denton. And she was like, why didn't you tell me that this was here, this, this, and that? And I was like, because I ain't trying to go. And knowing you, you trying to go. And sure enough, she was. We went. And I was scared. Got scared by a damn bird. 
that just flew by and I was like nope can't do this this is canceled but you know we went anyways um, I did record some stuff so if y'all want me to do like a video on that let me know um, you know I was recording a video and then you called me Good thing I have my laptop here because. So now you can make time for your friends. It's fine. I'm just gonna cry. It's you fine. know, I'm YouTube famous now, so you know. <laughs> I know. Uh, I can relate, you know. Are you in Denton? Are you gonna come love me? No, nigga, I'm not work. I did my part. <laughs> y'all see this, y'all? I want to tell you to show me, but I'm a god. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna make... What's up, YouTube famous? Oh, wait. Uh. <laughs> Three hours later. Sorry guys, I had to take a break because we started talking about stuff that doesn't need to be on video. Um, but yeah, I guess. So... More of December, um, after I got to see my one of my nieces, who I haven't seen since she was a baby, um, technically my first niece, uh, my brother had her when we were juniors in high school, so it was good seeing her, she's six now, yeah, six, <coughs> um, my best friend's older brother got engaged while I was down for Christmas. <sighs> and I recorded the whole thing. So if y'all want to see a video of that, let me know in the comments down below. Because I be, I'm like being super petty about it the whole time. Because that man was the love of my life since I first met him. And now he's engaged to a female version of himself. And it's just... <laughs> I'm just like, I'm never going to find love. It's fine. We're fine. Um, and then in like the whole like four, five years that like I've been in Denton. Uh, my best friend Karen's been in San Antonio. Jerry's been in Texas State and graduated. And Lisa's been back home. Like us four have never like all been together like at the same time. And we got to reunite and go out and uh, it was like high school all over again and our parents were not very happy because they know what kind of hot ass messes we become when all four of us are together <laughs> but yeah and as always stay petty kings and queens Team.